What's up everybody, Stefan here from Mod the Fame. I figured I'd do a quick video. It's, it's, it's already dark outside. I just got home from work, but I, I want you guys to know that I'm a avid uh, YouTube viewer of some of the big YouTube guys. So um, that's uh, whether it's Rob Freddy or whether it's Vehicle Versions or some of the other large ones, Dr. M3. Um, I even started looking at some of the tall guy reviews. What's up, dude? Anyway, one of the most funny things I saw on my way to work this morning in my suggestions, I saw a title of a video from your boy Mike Street Speed 717, and the title really caught my attention. Um, it caught my attention because it was extremely similar to the title that I put up recently, which is Blew My Corvette, or I Blew Up My Corvette LS1, uh, Not Clickbait, was the title. And this morning, I see I blew up my 1,000 horsepower Corvette, Not Clickbait. I'm like, no, wait a minute. This is, uh, this is really, really coincidental that it's so close the title so i was like you know what i'll give it a shot maybe this really happened to him oh my god i'm so sorry to see that i watched the video and of course what is it clickbait it's clickbait my man blew a radiator hose so i don't know man i don't know i'm a little dude uh my youtube channel is small for right now but every day we're working every day we're grinding all i'm gonna say is if you did take the title thank you thank you because now I get to make this video asking my subscribers, what y'all think? Y'all think he just stole the title? Y'all think he saw it and put up the same thing? Or am I bugging? Either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep watching the uh, Mike's videos. As a matter of fact, I really wanted to try to go out to Maryland. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it with the uh, one-day turnaround time and everything. So, I don't know. I would have to leave sunday morning super early and come back and i have work really early the next morning so i'm not really sure if i'm gonna be able to make it happen um but yeah but y'all tell me in the comments what y'all think y'all think he liked the title and took it or y'all think it just happened to be that it's that close i don't know i think he stole my 15 seconds of shine by the way this is the most viewed video i've had so far so thank you guys i really appreciate the support so as for my Corvette, uh, as I told you guys, I'm working on it. I'm working on building up the funds to be able to get it done. Hopefully, like I said, you guys can help me out with that. That would be awesome with, uh, with some subscribers and views. But uh, what it is at the same time, the Porsche is just getting done. So I can't do too many things at once. But anyway, uh, I got really big plans for that car. Go watch the, the last video that I put up about uh, blowing the motor, I explain everything that I wanna do for that car. But meanwhile, the obvious red elephant in the room, who the hell C5 Corvette is this, right? <laughs> well, this one belongs to my boy, Mike. Uh, Mike and I, we've been friends for like ever, and we've always had similar cars. Uh, this car is also a 01, just like mine. Uh, it's torch red also slammed out on 20s just like mine as well he does have c6 z06 brakes on this car um i think he did also a lot of the c6z underpinnings like uh sway bars and sway bar and links and stuff like that uh this car though has no performance mods it is completely stock it just has a, a broiler exhaust on it um i'm gonna get some more footage in a later video not in this one because it's late already but I'm gonna get some footage of this car in the daytime so that you can guys can see it. It's pretty sick. It looks amazing. Um, lowered all the way down like this with the aggressive fitting wheels, um, 20 inch three piece wheels, matte black center, gloss black lip um, with red inner barrels. Pretty damn cool. Car looks really good. Um, that being said, uh, I, like I said, I'm gonna I'm get a little video up for you guys, but I got a little preview bringing this car home the other night uh me and eugene did a little test run really cool to see a 2001 factory uh corvette ls1 cars are automatic 
an automatic trim with 273 gears, not even with 315s and nothing like that. How do you guys think the car did against a 2017 Maserati Ghibli? 2017 Maserati Ghibli SQ4, so that's the all-wheel drive one, um, against this car from a roll. So all runs, I think we did, first run was around 60, second run was around 70, third run was around 80, and on the third run, in Mexico, of course, we went over to Mexico to pick up the car, and that's why. But uh, in Mexico, of course, from we did a run from about 80 to 140. And, man, I tell you, man, bang for buck is all I'm going to say. But I'm not going to say who the winner was. I'll let y'all watch the video. Tell me what you think. Here it comes right now. Are you ready? Woo! <laughs> 